I love this song, Heartbreak Hotel. I just kind of wanted to come to you guys and just kind of, you know, say what's on my heart today. Um, just, you know, I don't know if anybody else is dealing with this or, you know, can relate to this. Just feeling complacent in life, you know. from 30 pushing 30 and I just feel very complacent you know and being in work at home position and I just feel like there's only so much you know I can do you know only so far I can can progress with working from home you know um it's been feeling this way for a while and I just kind of got discouraged earlier part of this year I went and got my CNA license so I can get back to the health field I did CNA before but I let my license lapse when I went in, you know, to the call center because, unfortunately, which is very sad, um, you know, I get paid more, you know, you know, I got paid more working from the call center than I would have as a CNA. So, of course, I chose the call center because, you know, I just had my baby girl at the time. And, you know, I was looking at which way I could make more money. I wasn't really thinking career-wise at that time in my life. I was a young, single mother, you know, um... Just a young single mother, not you know. I was just thinking about that income. <laughs> just to be honest, not this time in my my life. You know, I was willing to take a pay cut. So you know, because being around you know people in the healthcare field, that's gonna you know inspire me to go back to school and things like that. And when I tried to, when I got my CNA license, I you know found rejection. I've been I really you know taking advantage of the work at home. I don't have to worry about they kept the kids are sick. Look, they stay home with me, you know, and we just thug it out. You know, I work from home, so it's just really convenient, you know. And I sort of kind of took that for, you know, advantage, and I had to go look at child care. My Lord, Jesus. I've been working from home for three years, and I've been at a call center, you know, at the job that I took customer service for five years, and three of those years I spent at home. And, you know, I never really had to look out for daycare. And that totally just stopped all my plans that I have. You know, daycare costs is just, it's absurd. It, it, it's, it's, it's absurd. It, it's just so high. <laughs> daycare is just extremely high. The lowest that I found here in South Florida was $90 a week per child. And I have two. No, I'm sorry. It was $45 a week per child. That's $90 every week for both of my kids. That's $180 every two weeks. I'm on check. Who got $180 to get somebody for child care? They make it impossible. It's impossible, yo. So what I'm going to end up having to do is move back to the city. You know, where my mom's at because she's, you know, wants to help me or whatever. And I need to take up on that offer. And I just feel so complacent. I just feel like... And then also, you know, you come... Working from home, you over time without even, you know, not even intentionally. I just wanted to come and chat. Just something quick. Um, you know, but in that, I do find motivation, you know, with my situation. Because I don't have a car. This is my sister's car, as, as I told you before. Um, you know, in my situation, you know, it allows me to ride bikes faithfully to school. If I had a car, I wouldn't be riding a bike, you know. And look, it's, it's definitely playing off, so... Um, I'm just taking my situation and making the best out of it. By the time I do move to the city, I plan on being at my goal weight because I'm going to move next, um, end of March of next year. So my lease is up. So I'm going to be looking to moving back to Fort Lauderdale in about a month and a half. Um, but until then, you know, I'm just kind of really focusing on weight loss because my situation really allows me to do just that. No need in moping about it, you know, I'm just taking advantage. But I've come to realize that being in the work-at-home setting 
you know, I, I've sort of become over time over these past three years, I've become antisocial. You know, I, I'm ready to get out, fix myself up. You know, when you work from home, you just get up, you plow, you you just. I gotta work in my PJs most of the time. Now that I work out faithfully in my bikes, I do wear workout clothes, but I well, you know, I don't change from that. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm just feeling really complacent. You know, I just feel like I need to be. This time in my life working towards retirement, you know, getting myself established, finishing school. You know, my kids ain't getting no younger. <sighs> you know, I have a first grader and a kindergartner. And by the time they, before they get to middle school, I need to be okay. So I'm giving myself a five year plan. Mark my words. I'm just giving myself a five year plan. It's time to get uncomfortable. Time to, because I didn't get comfortable being at work at home, you know. Anytime you make a really big move, you know, um, you know, fear is coming about and nervousness, but I'm ready to confront that fear head on. I'm ready to confront that fear head on and just keep it moving. Confront my fear head on and just keep it moving and, you know. I don't know, just like so many things going through my head. But I'm just trying to, you know, tackle everything one by one, one at a time, because then, you, you know, you start getting overwhelmed. Yes, I do got on a jacket. I'm in South Florida, but it is cold outside, okay? Everybody will have a jacket this time, at this point in time. It's cold out there. But, um... I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> you know, everything going to pan out. I know it. I know it is, you know, that's when that faith comes into pass. It's a big old mosquito in here. Excuse me, I'm sorry. But yeah. I want to go ahead and get my nursing license. Oh, there go my baby girl. I know you were sleeping. Wake your brother up. We're finna go in the store. I'm gonna go ahead and get my nursing license. Just do all the things that I need to be doing. Get back on the right track. And get my life in order, you know? Get my life in order. Get my life in order. You know? Just switch up my focus, you know? Get uncomfortable. Move to the city where there's more opportunities. That's what it's all about. I'll go through things we all have our own battles that we have to deal with on a daily basis you know i just want to encourage you stay motivated whatever it is that you're pursuing use this situation and make the most out of it don't you know that's what i'm doing that's what gets me by and i'm you know, in a really happy place <laughs> as of lately i've been in a really good place i'm just like for instance when i say use the situation make the most out of it like right now i don't have a car I do want to go back to the city. I have money to go ahead and get a cash car, but I'm going to wait. Only because I don't want to get a car yet. And I have people that want to help me get a car, like my dad and my mom. But like I told them, I just want to wait until I get back to the city. Because now is the time. My kids' school is right there. So I'm able to ride bikes back and forth. Just going to help me stay focused and get this weight off me. Because when I get to the city, baby, going to be bad. <laughs> But, um, you know, I'm just using my situation right now. I ain't, I'm not what I want to be, but it, um, it's going to help me be focused on my weight loss, you know. Just focus on positive. No, I don't want to work at home, but I, I am working at home right now. So, thank God I ain't got no daycare expenses. You know, look at the positive and say everything. And no matter what you're going through in life, I just want you to stay motivated, stay encouraged. Keep fighting the fight because you're not the only one going through it. I know I'm not the only one going through it. You know, I have my own place. I do have my own place. Um... To have my own place, so I'm just grateful, you know. Some people are in, you know, doing better than me, so I just I'm grateful for what I have, you know. Um, I'm definitely grateful for what I have, but you know, I know next year is just going to really, 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 really be a great year for me. I know it, I'm claiming it anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna take it, ain't nobody giving me nothing. I'm gonna take it, you hear me? Um, but I've been on. I just want to say, um, 
you know, just, just stay encouraged, whatever it is. It's your girl, K. Have a wonderful week. You know, it's Monday. I want y'all, I woke up this morning, got my workout on. You know, riding that bike, too. Exercise definitely is a stress reliever. So, it helps. That daily exercise really helps me from, keep my mind from wondering, keep me focused. Look, this is what we're going for right now in this moment. Let's just focus on one thing at a time, baby girl. But um, I just want y'all to know that, you know, it's all right and it gets better. Plan ahead, you know. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just, you know, saving my money up for this move, for this cash card. Because I don't want, I don't want to go out there and get nothing new right now. I'm just, I don't want no monthly card note. I just want to be able to pay it off. It's mine. So I know I have a guaranteed way back into, you know, back and forth to work. Because I, when I get to the city, I'm leaving this job here. This record home job. Um, go back and forth to school. Just some transportation, you know. <laughs> as you get older, some things doesn't matter anymore. At least as I'm getting older, some things don't matter. It's not as important as I thought it would be. Um, you know, do any of y'all out there got a five year plan? You know, what what are your what keeps you from stressing? Because you know, I used to be a really big stressor, and ever since I've been Run my bikes daily, you know. I'm not, I'm not stressing about anything. I feel good, you know. I feel blessed. I'm just counting my blessings more now. What helps you, you know, stay motivated, stay positive, stay encouraged? What are some things that you guys out there do? What, what keeps you going? You know what I'm saying? So, y'all be blessed. Have a great week. Remember, it gets better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better.